Hey guys, this is Arun from Tikon Creations, and uh, today we are back with another video rendering of the upcoming smartphone, the Sony Xperia C6. So we have recently seen uh, some live images as well as some design drawings of the device, and uh, this uh, rendering is based on the information that we got from uh, both those uh, leaks. So now talking about the design aspect, I would say uh, the C6 is a combination of this, the C5 Ultra smartphone as well as this Xperia M5 smartphone. So if you just look at the front panel, you could see it features a bezel-less display just like the C5 Ultra, whereas the bottom panel is non-removable and it is a totally a glass surface and the camera placements again remains as about the M5 a smartphone. So now talking about uh, the, the design, I would say they have also provided some improvements here. So you could see it features a 2.5D curved glass here, so which again uh, improves the overall appearance as well as uh, the, 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 the bezel-less feel of the device. It enhances the bezel-less appearance, so, which is again a positive thing for the device. And now talking about the display size, uh, there is a lot of uh, rumors that's going on about the display size, uh, which says it, it will feature a 5.5 inch to 6 inch display. I would really be surprised if uh, the Sony provided a 6 inch display here because it's already having a very large border on both sides of the device. Uh, so uh, it's most unlikely that they will provide a 6 inch which will make the device very very huge and unmanageable. So I would, I would say it will be getting a 5.5 inch uh, that will be very uh, legible screen size for the device and the rumors also say it will feature 1080p display so 5.5 inch 1080p display is more like a standard these days so i would expect a 5.5 inch display here and if you all you can also see there is only a one speaker grill on the top side of the device uh, and uh, that means it doesn't have any stereo speaker setup also you could see this camera placement is on the right hand side of the device and it's expected to be an 8 megapixel but we're not sure about that and if you just go into the bottom panel, uh, you could see it features the USB Type 2.0 port. You could see here it's actually USB 2.0 as well as a speaker grill here. Uh, so this is a loudspeaker and you have a USB 2.0. So there is no USB Type C port here. And you can also see the, the voice reception mic here. And if you just go into the right hand side of the device, you could see the usual Sony iconic key placement the camera shutter button placed here you could see the volume rocker and also the power button uh, just like the usual sony devices the same kind of uh, key placements here and if you just go into the top panel you could see the 3.5 mm audio port is placed here and you could also see uh, the noise cancellation mic here uh, and if you just go into the left hand side of the device you could see they have provided uh, a pretty large uh, port for uh, probably for the dual sim as well as the micro SD card just like the M5 so looking at the length of uh, this uh, port we could say it, it will hold both uh, the dual sim card port as well as the micro SD card so it will be able to use uh, both uh, sim cards as well as micro SD card at the same time uh, and now let's go into the bottom panel you could see uh, the design here is very similar to the Xperia M5 a very flat surface with no curvature at all and you could see they have provided the camera here and it's expected uh, to be anywhere between uh, 21 megapixel to 13 megapixel but we are not sure about uh, till now so hopefully it will get uh, even a 16 megapixel or 21 megapixel we are not sure but uh, we expect uh, uh, a pretty good camera here so now uh, let's let's move on to the other specifications. Uh, now talking about the the, the processor of the device, uh, the rumors talk about the Helio P10 chipset uh, should be a good choice for the device. Uh, and another, if if they use Snapdragon, it would be about Snapdragon 617 chipset. See how it will be a, a mid-range device, and uh, it, it will most probably get 3 GB of RAM. So, uh, so guys, that's that's pretty much that we have here in terms of uh, the design, the 3D rendering, as well as uh, the overall specifications that we have at this point of time. Uh, and um, and if you like this uh, 3D rendering, and if you want us to do more videos like this, uh, please hit like button, share it with your friends, and stay subscribed for more. Thank you.